I'm Josh Banfield and I'm a geologist. My goal is to figure out how not just Earth works, but how Mars works or how Venus works and how planets work in general. When I say how the Earth works or how Mars works, I mean that in a, in a very general sense. It's what's going on on this planet? What kind of processes are happening on this planet? So um, by that I mean like, well, are there volcanoes? Um, are there uh, earthquakes? Um, is there uh, a very dynamic atmosphere? Does it rain? Are there clouds? Um, these are really basic questions, but they're basic questions that we need to learn about these other planets. Amongst the tools I've, I've learned in geology is uh, just how to identify rocks, for example. And you might look at a rock and you think, well, that's a rock. That's kind of a boring object. Um, there's a phrase, it's dull as a rock. Um, but even though the rock might not look pretty or be uh, very interesting looking, when you know the details of that rock, uh, for example, if it was uh, limestone, which is uh, uh, made up of uh, what's called a carbonate, well, a limestone only forms in water. So if you see that limestone sitting on the surface of a planet, you can say, hey, there is water here at one point. And so, well, that's not uncommon here on Earth, but it is uncommon on a place like Mars. So if we find this dull gray rock called limestone on Mars, everybody gets very excited because that means that there was water there. What I find most interesting about this work is, you know, you can find out whether or not a surface is rocky, sandy, or dusty. And that might not see, seem very interesting when you look at it at face value. But then you can start to ask really basic questions. And sometimes they're questions that people forget to ask. Like, why is that rock even there in the first place? And even though asking a question like, why is a rock there, doesn't seem like a very interesting question, very often the answer to that question is very interesting. Um, to get a rock on a surface actually sometimes takes a really violent event and some major action happened to make that rock get to the surface where you're seeing it. So oftentimes, even though it might not seem that interesting to look at why are rocks on the surface of a planet, um, when you stop to think about it, you actually do end up with some really, really interesting answers. And it tells you something really interesting about the history of that planet.